Holy shit, look at them. They're like orangey hazel. What am I doing? <laughs> What's up? Hey, how you doing? It's Allie and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos every Monday. I just need to throw out a disclaimer right now. Right here, right now. Yeah, this video is going to be completely honest in every single way possible. There will be swearing, there will be bad words, there will be things that I might not mean to say, but I will say. We might as well just get started on the video on why periods fucking suck. Can we all just appreciate this really old picture of Kian? So here's a few reasons on why periods fucking suck. After sitting down for a while, you stand up and then you realize it's fucking Niagara Falls down there. Mood swings are terrible. You can go from loving someone so much that you've known them for so long and you feel like you can tell them everything and you're so happy and you love them. Or you can go to just crying so much for no apparent reason. Or you could just feel like you want to hit everyone in the face with a shovel. You'll just fall asleep at random times. Anytime. You might not even be tired. You might be wide awake and you put your head down and boom, you're out. You feel like you just want to stab yourself down there about like 600 times and you'll be fine. Don't think about wearing white pants because oh, you'll ruin them. And that cute pair of underwear you just bought and you're thinking about wearing? Ruined for life. Every girl has period underwear. Every girl. I'm telling you right now, Every girl has them. It was that one pair of underwear that day that they loved, they cherished, they were so happy they might actually get some that night. And then next thing you know, out of nowhere, negative Nancy appears to come into your life unexpectedly, wearing your brand new, amazing, beautiful underwear. And then they became your period underwear. End of story. Uh. uh. I always hated when I was in school and I had to go to the bathroom really bad and it was an emergency for a certain reason because my tampon was about to fall out of my vagina because it's a freaking heavy day. Hey, I really gotta go to the bathroom. Can I please go? In the middle of class, you know, very disrespectful, but I, you guys know you gotta go. It's gonna fall out if you walk anymore. And then the teacher doesn't let you. I honestly just wanna say, I am on my Period. I need to change my tampon before it becomes Niagara Falls in this Everybody becomes annoying no matter what they say or do. It's fucking annoying. I hate those stupid advertising commercials for pads or tampons or anything like that. All the girls are so happy and jumpy and doing cartwheels and shit. Nah. Like if I'm on my period and it's a heavy day or any day in general, I am curled up in a fucking ball. I'm not moving. Ever. I have a big ass heating pad warmed up to blazing hot in my stomach so it doesn't feel like it's cramps anymore and it feels like my stomach is melting. So don't try to advertise that I'm happy go lucky with a stupid fucking 12 inch tampon in my vagina. And bless those girls that only have their period maybe two days in the week or maybe even three. I get mine for a week every time. There's no, there's no in between. Oh, let's miss a day. Let's add a day. No, seven days. Every time. It's fucking annoying. Your pee is no longer yellow in this week span of having your period. It is red. It is red every single fucking time. And you feel like you're dying. You feel like you're freaking peeing out your whole freaking blood system. I really feel like I'm scaring first timers on getting their period. So maybe don't watch this video. You're going to be horrified. Horrified. And you know what? Pads are just uncomfortable and tampons are awkward, especially for your first time. Now here's a little tip on to do. Um, do not wear tampons when you're sleeping. They can grow bacteria in there and just cause a whole array of fuckery shit that you don't want to go through. Always wear a pad at night, no matter how uncomfortable it is, just do it. It's going to be better for you, I promise. You can just feel it when you're like... Standing, sitting, running, moving, laughing, blinking, itching, hearing. You can feel it. It's just there. It's just a weird feeling to have. Sometimes my vagina throbs. Does that happen to anybody else or is it just me? Like my vagina just aches and it just hurts. Like I feel like if I would just touch it, it's like so fragile and like a baby that I'm going to drop it and it's going to crack and uh. 
and you know it stops when you sleep. But that's why I put a pad on anyways, just in case, because you never know, you don't want to ruin another pair of underwear. So it stops when you sleep, and then right when you wake up or when you're in the middle of a sleep and kind of like toss and turn, boom! It's there. It's there. Why am I talking? I'm like talking, like, announcer. Uh, know that like sometimes if I go in a fetal position, it helps. Give me, just give me a second, okay? I just... Oh god, I gotta let it pass. Sometimes you just gotta let it pass. Hi. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Today I'm gonna die. Oh god, I love my family, I love my friends, I love everybody on YouTube. I love Key and Lily. Today is the day. Today, today I am dying. This is what it feels like to die. Okay, wow. Guys, trust me, you're not gonna die, but it sure of a hell feels like you're going to. <sighs> wow, that fucking hurt. There's a different flows that you can have. You might have a light flow, a medium flow, or a heavy flow. This week decided to be a fucking heavy flow. Go me. They have all different types of freaking tampons out there in the world. Just pick up every single one, honestly. There's regular, there's super, there's super jumbo, or jumbo. I don't know how people shove super jumbos in their freaking vagina, like, whoo, wow. You honestly don't care about anything, anything at all. Your boyfriend, your family, your fiance, your husband, your friends, nobody except food. Food is the number one thing on your mind 24 seven through that whole week of your period. I get the weirdest food cravings ever. Things I would never put together, I put the fuck together. One time I had strawberries with hummus. That was disgusting. And you know what? No matter what, no matter what anything I just said, no matter how much of a fuckery periods are and cramps and everything I just said in this video, no matter how bad it is, no matter what, the number one thing that is amazing about getting your period and having periods and all of that shit, you just survived teen pregnancy and you're not pregnant. <laughs> Heating pad is your best friend and so is pampering. So that's all I have to say, folks. So I want you guys to comment down below what is the worst thing you ever had to experience when you got your period? So make sure you guys like and comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos every week if you have enjoyed. I have more videos up on my channel, so go ahead and check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!